My name is Garth and this is Coin of the Week. The last two weeks we focused on some collectible coins that are a little bit expensive and the bulk of our business is actually on more affordable coins that tend to live in the five to ten dollar range and this is a nice example of that. This is an aluminium coin from Poland and it was struck from the 50s through the 70s. I have two examples here to get listed. When I do list these ones they don't last long and they tend to go for between five and ten dollars quite easily which makes them a good easy listing if you do come across them I would suggest adding it to your store uh, and uh, I don't come across them that often it doesn't mean that they're uncommon it just is a coin that I don't see too often and we won a lot here recently that had a few in them and uh, this makes it a good good coin for discussion if you are selling world coins in that price range it's good to know which ones will do well uh, over time and this is a fine example of a coin that uh, that sells quite well despite there not being a lot of comps on in the marketplace we'll look in a minute but there probably aren't more than 20 or 30 of these on ebay at the moment okay we'll start with numista as you can see here it was struck from 1958 to 74 it's an aluminium coin 29 mil diameter one of the things i'll point out is it does not have a km number uh, because it isn't referenced in that catalog, but the Y number is the one I usually quote when I put in the listing. There are some scarce years. The 58 is pretty scarce, and then the 71 as well is relatively scarce. There are a lot of people that want to exchange this coin. That's something to keep in mind. If you do want to go that route, uh, you'd know more about it than me. If you went down that path, I've never tried it. But this coin does sort of vary from $7 up to a couple hundred, depending on uh, how good it is. And you can see some, some, catalog, uh, some auction results there. We'll go to eBay really quickly. I've already preset it. So that's price plus postage low is first. And you can see all I do is search for the country, the denomination, and the year. And in this case, we went 74 and the cheapest available is about seven dollars including postage and it very quickly jumps up to about twelve or fifteen bucks and that's for the common year if i search for 1958 instead you'll see that some people just give the ra date range which is not a not something i recommend uh, i recommend putting the exact date in unless you've got a huge amount of them and you can see right away the least expensive example from 1958 is more like an $18 coin so keep an eye out for this coin there's, there's not a lot of collectors of it but uh, it's well worth listing like I said with this one last time I listed it was up less than a week and I think it was a seven or eight dollar sale for that particular item I hope you enjoyed today's episode there are a lot more like this that we can talk about if there's anything you're interested in hearing me talk about uh, please leave a comment below and uh, we'll catch up with you next time